All right, today we're going to talk about something that uh, we get quite a few questions from the public out there is which way do I pull when I have an emergency vehicle either coming from behind me or towards me? So today I've got uh, FAO Jeremy Hill here and uh, first of all let's uh, let's get out what does FAO stand for? Uh, FAO stands for Fire Apparatus Operator. Uh, it's a fancy name for the guy that drives the truck. Well <laughs> you have an extremely important job because you're the one that gets everyone there safely to be able to do the job for the medical emergencies for the the fires and you also you run the truck the, you run the pumps that's that's your piece of equipment that you oversee and it's a vital important thing for us so you know one of the questions that we get like i said is what do i do when an emergency vehicle is coming and, and an emergency vehicle can be anything from a police squad car to a, a fire truck an ambulance uh, the sheriff's deputies, highway patrol, you name it, anything that has lights and sirens um, coming up behind you or towards you. So I've taken my artistic abilities here and drawn a few things out on the board and we're gonna just kind of run through these scenarios and uh, give you an idea of what, uh, what to do when you see them. So go ahead and pick up a marker here, Jeremy, and we'll look at this first one. We're, we're looking at a, a two lane road and uh, red we've got signifying a, a fire truck or emergency vehicle and we've got the blue as your uh, your typical the public's car sure. and which directions they're going so if we've got the fire truck here you know going in this direction this flow of traffic in a car here where do you want them to pull where do you where do you want to see them go uh, generally anytime we can and safely do so we want the cars to pull to the right Chief. so you you want to see them pull off to the right like that always yep and so same thing same scenario go in this direction in the oncoming traffic where, where do you want to see that vehicle go uh, also pull to the right and come to a complete stop if it's safe to do so and that's because uh, when I drive the fire apparatus here, typically I straddle the middle, the middle lane, and that's, that's to give room away from this car, and also these people are pulled to the side here. I have the ability then to go straight down the middle yep. um, and do it uh, as safe as possible with plenty of room um, from kinda, the other vehicles. on Kind of opens up the corridor for you to get through with the fire truck. Exactly, exactly. Okay, so moving on to the next one. So we're, we're looking at a, a, a four lane here. We've got the flow of traffic on this side going this direction, the other flow's going that way. Once again, we've got the fire truck or emergency vehicle here. Um, kind of same scenario, correct? You have a car here, you want to see them pull to the right to a complete stop. Right. right. And so if you get another one that's maybe a little further ahead in the same lane of traffic, what do we want to see them do? Um, it's going to be the same. I want him to pull to the right and not speed up and try to outrun us. Oftentimes we see cars that think either, hey, they're going fast enough or they're far enough ahead to where it's not going to be an issue. Um, oftentimes we can be traveling up to 10 miles an hour over the speed limit, yep. and it's best if he moves to the side. Um, and Same thing. Yeah, gets out of the way. Okay, so kind of same thing. We're, we're in the, the flow of traffic here. You have the vehicle clearer to the right side of, of the two lane. What do we want them to do? Uh, it's just, it's, again, it's, I, I hate to sound like a broken record, but just move to the right. Um, because it, if we get everybody to the right, and uh, these two lanes, or these four lanes here, um, are typically on the busier intersec intersections, and there could be a lot of cars. And mm -hmm. I could uh, potentially be, you know, if some, somebody stops in front of me here or, or here, um, I could potentially be as, essentially weaving in and out of traffic. So it, ideally, if I've got a big open space to operate, yep. um, it's, it's the most. So we're looking the same thing. Oncoming traffic, we want to pull over, yep. stop. And, and that's the big thing, mm -hmm. is to pull to the right and stop every Absolutely. time. So on this, like you said, you'd be yep. right up I, to through I, the middle yeah, Ideally, I'm going to be right here, just basically barely straddling the center line here. Um, but oftentimes, there's something else to contend with, yep. and I may have to cross into oncoming traffic. Uh, so, so it's best, even if you are in the completely opposite side of me, is is to, to pull to the right when you see us. So. Okay, then we start getting a little, a little bit more tricky, in, tr trickier area. Our Four lanes with a turn lane in the center, or five lanes set up. Say like a Friday afternoon on 41st Street. That's fun. We're uh, we're talking a lot of traffic, and in the middle of the summer, a lot of people out. This gets 
hairy. It gets interesting for a driver like you mm -hmm. trying to go lights and sirens. So we're looking at kind of all the same scenarios. We're, we're looking to ask them to pull to the right, stop. Mm -hmm. Same thing up here, pull to the right, yep. stop. Same thing, I mean, three lanes away, we're still asking them, pull to the right and yep. stop. And up here with the oncoming, pull to the right, stop. Here's the tricky one, the one that's in the turn lane. What do you, what do you want to see someone say, say they're going in the same flow of traffic, same direction as you in the turn lane. What, I, do we want, what do we want them to do? I would prefer them to just stop right where they're at when, uh, as safely as they can. Okay. And, and you'll see me um, basically drive around and pass them on the left, which is, again, this is why it's important for the opposite side of traffic to come to a complete stop. Um, because I don't want to, I, if, if I'm overtaking this person, I don't want to pull on to his right side in, yep. in case they, they think that, oh, here's a fire truck and now I have to pull to the right. Correct. And that just increases the possibility that we're going to have a collision here. So I will just basically just drive around here if he stopped and, and pass them uh, on their left there. And if they're coming coming towards us looking to, you know, make that left turn in front of you, what do we same it's thing. Gonna, it's going to be the same, uh, the thing we will have going for us, because um, I am still going to pass them more than likely on the left side taking oncoming traffic, but they have the, the luxury of seeing me coming yep. and, and seeing the move that I'm making, hopefully well in advance. So once, once again, to reiterate, pull to the right and stop. Make that good open lane yep. through the middle for Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Okay, now we're looking at an intersection. Um, this is where often people get a little confused and scared too. Yep. We've got the fire truck going this direction and then all the separate things. Once again, this individual, pull to the right, stop. Anybody on the side streets coming up, stop where you're mm -hmm. at. Just stop, stop and hold. Once again, this traffic coming at you, try to pull to the right and stop as best possible. Don't go into the intersection. Okay, now here's the one that confuses a lot of people. What if they're just getting into the intersection and they see you coming up from behind? What, what do we want them to do there? So it will for sure depend on how far they are into the intersection or you know, how much time they have to react. Um, if, if, however it's safest to get um, out of our way. And mm -hmm. that could be by simply just making a, a right turn if you're not very far into the intersection or proceeding through the intersection and then pulling to a stop over here in this area and then allowing us to go by. And um, once again, that's where the fire truck or the emergency vehicle is going to come up here. They're going to come to a complete stop there that also because we're checking both ways to make yep. sure everybody is seeing us and, and, and good to go and then proceeding through. Yep. So, perfect. Well, you know, anything else off the top of your head that, you can, that you'd like to talk about and discuss right now as far as with the uh, traffic? Well, Chief, um, this time of year obviously is construction season. Um, so oftentimes lanes are, are bottled down to one um, mm -hmm. on each side and it's difficult. Um, there's probably not any space for this person to pull over here to the right. And uh, oftentimes people just maybe don't know exactly what to do and they stop uh, and I need to get through. So really in that situation, if there's nowhere else for you to go, proceed uh, as normal um, and pull over to the right as soon as it is feasible. As soon as an and, open and area safely. comes yep. open. As soon, yep. as, as soon as you can do it safely and as quickly as you can um, do so. But please don't just stop in the middle of the road because I still have to pass. Um, Still have, to get, have, still have to get, have to get, get there. through the construction zone, which is, is not easy. Right. Well, thank you very much. I greatly yeah. appreciate it. And I know anybody watching is going to appreciate this because it's, it's a lot of good information. And it, it's the best way to get the public out of the way safely for, mm -hmm. for us to come through. And it's also the best way for us to get our people on scene safely. Yep. Thank you very much. And uh, we'll let you get back Thanks. to it. Thank you.